came to an Anglican family and um, my first contact with the faith, for example, I could say was um, going to the Anglican church and uh, learning the creed, learning how to say the creed, of course. And there, of course, we say we believe in the one holy Catholic and the Catholic church. So that was quite interesting. Well, I never questioned that until much later because I was in a Catholic school, Marywood Grammar School, Ebutemeta, Lagos. And we had a whole lot of things. Well, it wasn't a boarding school, but they did what they could. So sometimes there was mass. Um, during Lent, there were Stations of the Cross. And I find that there was something that we had that perhaps these days they don't have in many schools, which is um, history. We studied history. And going through the history books, excuse me, I came across something which, was, which explained about the Reformation. And uh, yeah, it's true I was young at the time. I must have been like, well, I think I was 12, yeah. I must have been 12. Yeah, I was 12 <laughs> at the time. And, but it struck me. And I asked, well, what's this of the, Ref what do you mean by the Reformation? And they explained. So I said, well, if these other churches started existing from that time onward, it means that the Catholic Church was the first church. I want to belong to the first church. <laughs> that must be the true church. And uh, I was so serious about that, and I got back home and spoke to my dad about it. I hadn't been baptized. And I told my father I wanted to be baptized in the Catholic Church. Of course, he didn't like the idea. And he said, you know, I think we need to go to church more often because Anglicans don't necessarily have to go to church every Sunday. <laughs> well, most of them don't. Um, but I, I insisted. And he said, well, okay, it's baptism. So baptism is the same for all, you can go. So I went with my younger sister to the church close to our house, which was St. Anthony's Church, Gwaja, and uh, explained that I wanted to start catechism classes. And they said it was a bit late because Easter was coming, and that was when they were going to have the baptisms. There were some months, I think it was like two months to Easter, I can't remember. But with some crying, and <laughs> I think I got my way. <laughs> and uh, I started classes, both of us started the classes. My sister was much younger, so somehow she didn't manage to continue. And the moment you know, everything that you prepare towards that, I suppose I was still so uh, excited about everything, and. Uh, uh, insisted that everything would be white and the sh up to the shoes. <laughs> so I, I got baptized. Shortly after, well, the, I was able to go to church a lot of times. And when I couldn't go to church for different reasons, because my father couldn't understand that this had to be an every Sunday affair, <laughs> uh, my younger sister and I went through the mass at home. <laughs> She was willing, she was willing, both of us were, were quite keen.